Hi guys, you're here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm gonna show you how you can play Behind Blue Eyes from the Limbiscuit version on piano. We're gonna cover the intro slash verse slash bridge because it's all the same basically. So the only thing we don't do in this video is the chorus of the song. But if you want me to show you how I play the chorus of this song on piano, uh, definitely let me know in the comment section below and I will be happy to show you how I play that. Also, this is originally played on guitar. So if you want me to show you how to play it on guitar, I can do that as well. So let me know in the comments as well, then perhaps I can do that in a future tutorial, right? Now, how do we start with this? If you have watched my Piano for Beginners tutorials, then you probably have seen the last video being arpeggios and arpeggios part two as well. And if you have watched those videos, that will help a lot with this. It will be a lot easier to understand. So if you haven't watched those videos, definitely check them out. The links will be in the description down below or somewhere above here as well. Why do I think it's important that you know what arpeggios are? Because the intro, verse and bridge of uh, Behind Blue Eyes are basically arpeggios, which means they can be played as chords as well. Right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is see what chords they are and play those just as full chords and then we're gonna see in which order we have to play all those notes. In total for this part we have five different chords. Now you can play these chords in different positions but the way we're going to play those chords includes all the notes that we're gonna use in these parts to play the arpeggios in. If it sounds a little bit confusing guys, don't worry, it will be clear in a moment. Okay, let's start off with the first chord, which is the easiest one, and that is the E minor chord. I will not explain the theory behind all the different chords. If you want me to explain these chords, just let me know, I can do that in another video, but that's not for today. The E minor chord is the first chord, and the way we're going to play it is this. So we start with the E2, the B3, E3, G3, B4, and the E4. We play those together, that's the first chord, okay? The second chord is the G major 6, which is this one. So right here we have the G2, B3, and D3 with our left hand. Then we have the G3, the D4, and the E4. If we play those together, we have the G major 6 chord. The next chord is the D sus 2, which is this one. For this we play the D3 with our left hand. The A4. The D4. And the E4. Then together, that's the D sus 2. Then the next one is the C add 2, which is this one. So ring and pinky finger on my right hand stay at the same position. But in my left hand I play the C3. And with my right thumb I play the G3. But I keep ring and pinky finger on the D and E4. That's the C add 2. And the last chord that we're going to play is the A sus 2. And for that one, we're going to play with our left hand the A3, then with our right hand the E3, A4, B4, and the E4. Together, this one. Let's just repeat that for a moment. We have the E minor, the G major 6, the D sus 2, the C add 2, and the A sus 2. First try to get the hang of these exact positions, then we already have the exact position that we need to be in to play the arpeggios. Now let's start with the arpeggios themselves. First chord, the E minor. The order in which we're going to play is this, slowly. E, B, E, G, E, B, G, E. So like this. 
okay? That's the first arpeggio. Then we have the next chord, which is the G major 6. The way we're going to play this, the first three notes with our left hand, G, B, D. Then with our right hand, G, E, D, G, D, with our left hand. Slowly. Okay. If we play those together, we get... Now we go over to the D sus 2 chord, and we will play this arpeggio two times in a row. It's this chord. We play D, A, D, A, E, D, A, D. So a little bit faster, it's like this. And we play that two times in a row. Then we go over to the C add 2 chord. And we use the exact same order of the D sus 2 chord, like this. But with the C add 2. Okay? And also two times in a row. Then we add the last chord, which is the A sus 2. In this position exactly. Here it's a little bit different of an order. We start like this. A, E, B, A, E, B, A, B. And this also two times in a row. And that's basically it. If we connect all these chords together, all these arpeggios together, it will sound something like this, slowly. which are the exact same notes, but now it sounds a little bit separate, right? So all the notes are separate, we are not using our pedal yet. I can use this as an example for the tutorial, by the way, but there is a way that we can still make it a little more full of a sound. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna keep the keys on our left hand pushed down whilst we're playing with our right hand. So. The same exact notes, but on our left hand, we're gonna keep the notes down until we change chords, that is. For the first chord, that will be... Like that. Then we have the G major 6. Okay, don't forget to play with your thumb on the left hand, the last note there. Then we have the D sus 2. Again, go over to the C add 2, and then over to the A sus 2. This sounds a lot fuller, so if you play it that way, it will sound a lot fuller, like this. It sounds already a lot better than when we just play all the notes separately, right? But when we're using our pedal, this will be even fuller and sound more rich, let's say. So stay tuned for that tutorial. So that's basically how we play Behind Blue Eyes, or at least the Limp Biscuit version. The original isn't that different from the Who, 
But from Limp Bizkit, it's played like this on guitar actually. So guys, if you want me to show you how to play it on guitar, if you want me to show you how to play the chorus on piano or guitar, just let me know in the comment section down below. I will also give a tutorial on how to use your pedal to play piano and I can use this as an example as well. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. And the last, uh, but I'll, I can also show, now, uh, and I can, so, so, now how go, lesson for me, then you wouldn't, and it, first, play. if it sounds a little bit, okay, if it sounds a little bit, then we, if we, is the keys on our left hand, we're gonna, so if we, so, sounds a letter, but I can use, the,